the other day, you know, the beauty of this channel is really that we've all become really good friends. We're interacting and hopefully lots of you are finding people that you've got like sort of things in common with, you know, perhaps they live quite near you. Even if you're just having conversations online in the comment section, it's better than being alone, isn't it? You feel like you've got your brain a bit active, that sort of thing, you know, and that, as I've often said here on the show, was the point. This is the point of really what I wanted to mention this particular lady for, because I believe it was George, you know, I see so many comments, but I believe it was a gentleman called George who contacted me about, did I remember Betty Hutton? Now, I have to say, do I look that old? <laughs> But of course, Betty Hutton, sadly, I never met her. That is, of course, the Hollywood star of the 1940s and 50s. But I did meet someone who did. And oddly enough, we had a few chats about so many of the stars. We're talking, of course, about the MGM legend, Mickey Rooney. Told me so many things about so many people, you know. And it was interesting with Betty Hutton because, you know, as I say, just the fact that this person mentioned in the comment, Neil, did you ever know or meet Betty Hutton? You kind of think, hmm, when did she die? You know, I mean, you, how bad does this video look first thing in the morning, you know? But seriously, what was interesting about Betty, a lot of people don't know this, and this is what Mickey told me, that she had a bit of a falling out, actually, uh, with Judy Garland, because she took over, as you know, from Judy in Annie Get Your Gun when she became very ill in 1950. MGM suspended Judy, and as Mickey told me, they were slowly very quickly running out of patience with her. She'd had a lot of problems, as one can imagine. But of course, Betty Hutton also had her problems as well. She was in so many mega smashers. I thought she was a very versatile, fun actress, you know? I mean, nowadays it'd be hard to define her because she's so talented in so many spheres. You know, she was a singer, could do cabaret, straight theatre, supper theatre, that sort of thing. But Betty at her peak was doing incredibly well. As I say, took over from the late and brilliant Judy Garland, made the role her own, and of course, went on to have a very successful career. In later life, as so many of these Hollywood stars do, as Mickey pointed out, she fell on very hard times. There were lots of offers, though, as Mickey said, you know, because people wanted the whole Hollywood timers, as he called them, on all the chat shows. But Betty did succumb to certain addictions and certain problems in her life. So consequently, wasn't able to fulfill perhaps her full potential. She rediscovered herself through the uh, art of faith, and that's not a bad thing. Got herself back on track with a lot of support and eventually reconnected back with her family. Of course, it was never going to be as ever as it should be, but she felt a lot better. Mickey told me towards the end of her life she couldn't quite believe, like he couldn't, that so many people were simply interested in the old timers, as he called them, of Hollywood. He said, look, we had no idea we were this popular. It's only when you started to travel the world that you realise just how popular these films have made you. Of course, with reruns on channels like Movies Now, Retro and TCM, amongst others, they're still shining bright today. And Betty Hutton definitely shone bright for a long time, all thanks to the epic lens of the Paramount Film Studios. But it's strange, isn't it, when you think of the greats that do slip through the net. Everybody remembers the likes of Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra, Judy, uh, Marilyn. But of course, there are other greats too that equally shone, maybe not as bright or not as long, but they certainly do need to be remembered. And Betty Hutton, for me, was definitely one of them. Now, I'm going to throw another name out there to you, one that, of course, is for a certain generation, and I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Esther Williams. Yes, remember her? The champion swimmer who became a megastar at MGM? Well, Mickey Rooney told me this about Esther Williams. Louis B. Mayer, the boss of MGM, simply told Mickey Rooney this. Wet, she's a star. Dry, she ain't. And that was the problem. When they filled in the swimming pool at MGM, Esther's career sadly was over. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.